Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm Sir Worldwide. And here I am again, talking about the same situation that we got going on. Law enforcement is still killing black people. Only been three weeks since a man was murdered. Now another man got murdered by a coward. I watch Western movies, right? Because I, I grew up watching them, you know? And when you watch a Western movie, Somebody might have a problem with each other, you know, but you, I ain't never seen a West when somebody got shot in the back. Now, here's a brother that was drunk, okay? And he went to sleep in the line getting food at, at, at Wendy's, right? Somebody blew the horn and they called the police. Here come the police. They want to do their thing on him. And he said, why don't y'all just let me go home, you know? No, no, we got, we got to do what we got to do. And then there was a little struggle and he got the guy's taser, you know, and start running away and turn around to shoot the taser and then they shot him in the back and killed him. Now here's a brother with three beautiful daughters, a stepson, a family man. But now he's a dead family man because of a coward shooting him in the back. Now in a recent post I said, talk with your congressman about making it mandatory for all law enforcement to have the same training as the FBI and the CIA. Because if that's done, then there's a higher level of intelligence and some of these beautiful minds might still be around. You know, if they don't stop killing these black people like they're doing right now, all these Nat Turner's gonna come out. If you don't know who Nat Turner is, check them out. But you gotta stop killing these people. These are my people. You know, I listened to a guy today on the radio. He said that, um, and he's a celebrity. He said that when the police stop him, He's nervous, he's afraid, even though he's a celebrity. He put his hands up on the dashboard. So the lady officer asked him, why are you doing that? He said, because I don't feel comfortable with you stopping me. Now, he also said he knew somebody that was white. They got stopped by the police, he was drunk. What did the police do? They took him home. Come on, this is ridiculous. And a person, told me, and this was not a person of color, told me that, I forget how many years ago it was, but the KKK decided they're going to be police. So they're in all these police departments. Now, we got racism. We got racism. The definition of racism. You need to check it out. Okay. I got some historians right here. They're going to let you know what's going on. And welcome to Sir Worldwide. I'm Don. I'm Carrie. We're here today just to give you more information and give you an update on uh, information about racism and how you can protect yourself from it, uh, give you definitions so you know what it is when you see it. And we should avoid those people that are racist at all costs. Disappear from them, don't be around them, don't patronize them. Well, on one hand, it's cool to avoid them. Well, we can only do that if we have a separate land or territory of our own. Um, it's hard to um, dismiss ourselves from their influence because we watch television, we do business with them, we, we, we're integrated, we're so thoroughly integrated in their schools and everything that they do that it's hard to do the separation in this country. To be successful at the separation will be to have our own land or territory of our own. But since we don't, it's important that we have a better understanding of what we're dealing with. Now, there have been a lot of psychologists that have uh, put forward the idea that racism is a mental illness. Correct. And those ideas have been shot down. Correct. Um, but if you go to just, just Google, is racism a mental illness? Just Google that and you're going to find a lot of pro and con for that. Um, one psychologist says, yes, it can be a delusional symptom of psychotic disorders. Um, racism, a mental illness. Racism is not a mental illness. That's another article. How racism can be called a mental illness and why that's a problem. The problem with racism, the problem with suggesting that racism is caused by mental illness. Why claims of mental illness don't excuse racism? Racism can affect your mental health from its earliest childhood. 
That's now correct. I didn't put I didn't really pause too much but mm -hmm. those were different topics of articles on the internet that um, popped up when I asked the question is racism a mental illness well it must be an illness because because what they continue to do over and over again and they're in denial about what their actions are and why they do what they do they have lots of excuses and they will not admit to they are not functioning correctly as human beings <laughs> they're acting like heathen savages what they called everybody else but that's what they are and it's like the uh pot calling the skillet black yeah well if we're gonna have the conversation is racism a mental illness then we would have to talk about the entire philosophy of this country and how it was established it was established on a mindset that I'm better than you because of the color of your skin right and we know that that is a false State. mindset right but it has grown to make people um, psychotic neurotic um, compulsive and repressive and all of the actions that the police do is based on some type of psychotic and neurotic mindset yeah exactly for example I was reading an article it said when Mel Gibson he disrespected the Jewish community he apologized and he admitted I need help right and he yeah. went on to get psychological help, help for his um, disrespect of a whole group of people right because right. clearly he had the mindset that he's better than them because of the color of his skin right oh well they all look the same to me sometimes <laughs> uh, <laughs> no disrespect but the thing of it is we have to understand that what they are doing in the guise of what they call humanity is actually racism because they believe that their whiteness puts them above everybody but it's their savagery and their uh, technological weapons that they use to um, dominate people and so and if we continue to dominate they dominate with those weapons and we come back then they want more retaliation and then we have a war well I'm big on mindset I'm big on the thoughts that you have. What are you thinking when you want to kill somebody because of the color of their skin? What are you thinking that makes you actually do something? Because it's one mm -hmm. thing to say something racist, but it's another thing to create laws and policies against people because they're not white. Correct. And because many, um, there are a lot of books that talk about the attitude of white people. And some books say that they believe that there's just two races, whites and non-whites. Right. Correct, correct. That's uh, it. So either you're white or you're non-white. Right. And if you're not white, then they really don't care yeah, about your situation, situation or your problems. Exactly. So um, that's fine and everything like that. Let's talk, I wanted to bring up the word racism because to me it denotes race. Right. And it denotes competition. Sure. And most black people, we're not into competing. Right, not not on those levels. Against them, right? Exactly. Because they got bigger guns than us. Right, and uh, <laughs> you know we're superior anyway. So exactly, yeah. and and we don't have to walk around flaunting it and everything. The only mm. thing we're not superior in is being devils and right. being wicked. Exactly. We're not superior in tricking people. We're not the best at being bad people because we keep getting caught when we do bad things. Yeah. The jail, exactly. the prisons are full of us because we did something we shouldn't, we wasn't supposed to be doing. We're not good at being devils or being bad people. And we can't act like them. We try. We try to be tricksters and liars and gangsters and, and thieves and, and prostitutes and pimps. We try to do all those things, but we're not very successful at it. Not at all. We're very spiritual people. So in order for us to be successful at overcoming them, we have to get more in tune with our spirituality. Exactly. Definitely. And uh, we have to stop really using in terms of good using the word bad because it's mm -hmm. it's an acronym being a devil B A D. <laughs> okay <laughs> well the other thing you made me think about was a, a more scientific thing to say is more positive and negative because right. there's good bad evil righteous positive negative right. there's the duality there so a scientific way is positive and negative so some people are more negative than people, right. than other people. Some people are more positive 
than other people. Well, what we need to do is get a guideline for black behavior or people of color behavior so we can know not to kill each other, yeah. uh, know how to uh, agree to disagree, mm -hmm. but you don't have to be disagreeable. Right. And right. go ahead and be able to come to a, a resolution or just, okay, we can agree to not to agree, but then we don't have to go into a fight. We don't have to mm -hmm. destroy families. We don't have to go for revenge. It's just don't mess with them no more. Leave them alone. Mm -hmm. Just cut them off and you'll be more happy. So. Well, for the most part, we're we're not a savage type people. We're right. very cordial and kind, and that's how they were able to dominate us because exactly. we're very loving, and we don't care if you blue or brown or pink or orange. We don't really care. Let's have a good time. Exactly. But they used our natural love for people and our, our non-prejudiced way of being. They used it against us, right. and that's how they've been able to dominate right. the whole planet because we're, we're pretty gullible for, for as a people. And we're not really thinking like devils and demons for the most part. The only reason we became like that is being around devils and demons and That's negative correct. people and people who are tricksters and liars. Mm -hmm. So we just learned it through our environment and through our socialization, being around them. Yeah, so what we need to do now at this point is uh, take and then digest all of this information that you've just received go home, analyze it, and then come to a conclusion to live in peace and just want to be peaceful. But you do have to protect yourself. Don't, do. don't lay down like we a do. sacrificial lamb. So there's mm -hmm. gonna come a point to where you're gonna to have to do what you gotta do. Yeah, you know the scripture says, unless my people humble themselves and pray, I will not hear them. So I think our prayer can be very, very powerful, but we have to be very faithful in our prayer. We have to actually believe in our prayer, right. but that might take a different philosophy because right now we're praying to the same God as those that want to kill us. Well, so we have to have a, a different philosophy, a different ideology, religious wise and spirituality wise, because we're correct. not going to be successful praying to the same, same God, God that our enemies are praying to. to. Right. <laughs> it so. doesn't make any sense. So, but when we pray, we want to pray to the originator, to the creator of the heavens and the earth. earth. No correct. matter what name we call him, we want to pray to the creator who started everything. Right. And I think that's very important for us to be way more prayerful because we are a very spiritual people. And whereas um, our enemies are very physical. Right. They're just looking at the outside. They don't give a damn about the spiritual, the unseen forces. Right. They're just looking at your skin. They're not judging us based on the content of our character. They're judging us based on the color of, of our, our skin. skin. And they don't understand that there's a law in the universe called retribution and it can come down on them. Uh, uh, you, you reap what you sow. Sometimes, because some people, uh, what you believe, that's what happens to you. But if right. you don't believe that, that might not happen to you. That's correct. Because they've been reaping a bunch of shit. I mean, they've been sowing a bunch of stuff against us, ain't nothing <laughs> happened to them, nothing. Uh, so it, it, what I'm saying is, if you don't believe like that, most times it won't happen to you. Right. It only happens to people who believe that. Right. Okay. It seems. I understand your point. Mm hmm. So I guess I just wanted to say that it's important for us to, for me, the solution is a psychological solution. Correct. And that's spiritual. Everything mm -hmm. in the mind is spiritual. You can't see the thoughts. You can't see the imagination. You can't see um, these types of energies. The only thing right. you can see is matter. Right. But these energies, thoughts, imagination, um, um, emotions, you can't really see them. But those are the things that have to be developed in a more positive way. Right. Correct. So psychology, you, Dr. Frances Cress Rosen wrote this book. Correct. And she said that a racist is somebody who makes laws to hurt other people. Whereas I, can, might, I might talk bad about another person, but I'm not going to make a law. Right, to so, hurt them. so I can continue to hurt them. Exactly. Yeah. You know, I can talk about your mom or whatever. That don't mean I'm going to kill you. Right, exactly. <laughs> it means I'm just going off at the mouth wow. and giving my opinion. Right, exactly. I'm not going to make a law and sit up there and scheme and plan to take your land. Most people don't do that. But right. we do have groups of people 
that plan to hurt people because they don't like the way they look right or believe you know and I want to add just that this is a very powerful book yes it's able to uh, give you some definition and understanding on how society has been going along and what's been going on how other people think and how they think about us and like I say, this is great reading. It is. It's very uh, important. You can go to, you know, your local bookstores. I'm not going to give a plug for Essawan, but, you know, they're <laughs> out there. I <laughs> wonder if it's still in print because yeah. she really gets into the mental health right. as and, and really explains why um, Europeans do what they do. Right. And, and it has to do with um, uh, they really love us, but they're jealous <laughs> of us. us. They want to be us, us, but they can't, can't be, be us. us. And they're afraid of genetic annihilation. Right, and they want to keep us in their own little circus, keep us under yep. their own little monster. But they want to stay white. There's nothing right. wrong with that. Right, no, They want to stay they wanna white. They be white, stay white. And, and there's a video um, on the internet from the 50s and 60s where a KKK member, he was saying, we do not want to become a race of mulattoes. Right, exactly. So, what can I say? I don't blame you. <laughs> okay, well. You know, keep your white purity. Right. But maybe y'all need to go to someplace else on the planet if you want to stay white. And we like, and if you're, we're dominant. <laughs> and if, hey, and if you're black, stay black. Exactly. Okay. It so. can be a problem when there's <laughs> when there's racial mixing, and that's mm. understandable. Right. But one ounce of the blood makes you whole. That's correct. So what we want to do, we want to conclude this and yes. let you digest this, and look forward to our next series on the topic of staying sane while being black. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Peace and blessings. <laughs> okay, on one note, you know, that was great. These guys are awesome. But I, if I got something, I got to run it by you. I'm going to be your minister, minister of information, okay? Frequently, I'll do that, right? A lot of friends of, the, of, of mine don't watch the news. They don't believe in watching the news. They say it's a bunch of crap, but me, before I leave the house, I turn on CNN. I just want to see what's happening here, right? There was a, a murder, as I mentioned earlier, on Friday in Atlanta, right, by these cowards who shot this young man in the back. Uh, and then just two days ago in Tulsa, Oklahoma, where their leader is going to go on Saturday. Um, there was two young teenagers walking down the street, right? And the cops pulled them over for jaywalking, but there was no sidewalk. So the, the video showed this one police officer dragging this young man out of the car, slammed him on the ground, his head hit the pavement. Uh, Black Lives Matter? Yeah, right. To who? Please subscribe.